last, the moment you've all been waiting for, Steph's review of Luckin' Coffee's Liquor Latte. It debuted last week, sold out across Beijing midweek. So I'm just now able to get my hands on a cup. What makes this coffee event so exciting? Luckin' Coffee is one of, if not the largest coffee chain here in China. And it is really responsible for furthering coffee culture in China. So its demographic skews low. Baijiu is the type of liquor that's in this liquor latte, and Motai Baijiu is like, it's favored by heads of state, it's given as diplomatic gifts, it's drunk at important business functions. That, coupled with its heftier price point, means its demographic skews a bit older. So for some, the liquor latte is their very first taste of multi-brand Baijiu. And for others, this is their very first cup of coffee. This liquor latte is made, of course, with espresso and a milk Baijiu pre-mix. So no sneaking a little flavor to the barista to get like an extra shot in there. Now, I have been obsessively reading the comments on this liquor latte and they are so polarizing. And I think one of the reasons that is, is because of the very nature of Baijiu, which is strong in every sense of the word. It is smooth, but very biting, very warm as it goes down. For multi Baijiu, they call it a sauce aroma. Uh, and some people feel that the lingering uh, aroma of Motai Baijiu is, reminds them of soy sauce. Now don't click off this video. I know soy sauce and coffee does not sound great, but I think that maybe Baijiu and coffee might be great. It's so crazy, it just might work. Yup. <laughs> For me, it smells a little bit like, uh, like there's a really strong whiskey in there almost. It's like the, ooh, I can smell it. For other people, I can definitely see that they may describe it as, as like fruit that's just started to go off. Uh, so big smells, big aromas. Give it a little mix and mix. Oh, oh, that hits you in the back end there. If you're used to the taste of multi baijiu, you can certainly taste that in here. Uh, but you can also still taste the coffee. Neither one overwhelms the other and they weirdly complement each other. Okay, like I'm not mad at this. Like you can almost taste the those lingering fumes or those that lingering aroma uh, in the back of your palate. Would I personally buy this on the regular? No, for a couple reasons. One, I just don't drink a whole lot of spiked coffees. There are other alcoholic beverages I would prefer. And two, because it is a latte and this amount of milk would hurt my stomach. If it were an oat milk latte, I'd be more inclined to buy it on a whim, go around for a walk in the park, listen to a podcast, just have a nice little chill day with it. Uh, but 100%, it is worth your time. Try it out. You might be very pleasantly surprised or not. Either way, be part of the story. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Cheers, everybody, and I'll see you next time.